What's going on everybody? It is Larry B. Hawkins Jr. Also known as Hawk. And in this video, I am going to show you how to set up your charts for Enter the Matrix success. Stay tuned. I'm not here to feed you the nonsense everybody else is feeding you. My goal is to make you financially free. Now what are you going to do with that information? Yo, what up, y'all? What up? What's going down? It's your boy Hawk in the building, right? <laughs> Yo, never once did I say I do it better than big, but I gotta hold it down for the city I live. Yo. Yeah, that's all y'all get, man. I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. What's going down? What's going down? Hold on, let me stop this. Let me, <laughs> let me stop this. All right, I'm just playing. Yo, what's going down? I just wanted to show y'all this real quick, right? <laughs> this is the new indicator that um, one of our um, illustrious members of the inner circle uh, created for all of us he created this for the family to eat right so with this indicator what it does is it gives you the a range it gives you the adr and it gives you the adr divided by three so now you know what your a range is coming into a trade so if it's blown out oh man this a range is 55.7 pips it's blown out we're not playing this on the odd cap pair it's done right Oh man, this A range is 18.3 pips. It goes down. I'm in that trade all day. ADR is 44 pips. ADR divided by three. That means at 15 pips, I got a TP. And another 15 pips, I got a TP. That's 30 pips for the day. Yo, I can deal with 30 pips in a day off of odd CAD. You know what I'm saying? So, what this gives you again is the A range, the ADR, and the ADR divided by three. It also has your A range marked on your charts already for you. You It already provides your EMAs, and it also provides the kill zone. So these two red lines are the kill zone on my chart. Now, every chart is not created equal. So, <clears throat> because every chart is not created equal, you have to make adjustments to every one of these settings not every one of them but the ones pertaining to the hours right so this is how you do that oh wait first let me show you how to get this on your on your screen <laughs> all right simply what you do is you come up to your indicator button where this is my indicator button right here and you click on your indicator button you come right here to this little uh search glass and you type in M A T R X, and when you do that, Market Maker Matrix by Jessamine comes up. Now, I suggest that you click this star because once you click this star, it becomes into your favorites. And if anything ever happened to where you couldn't find access to it right away, it would always be in your favorites folder, right? So, just you know, side note click on Market Maker Matrix by Jessamine and then X out of it and then this comes on your screen so now you have the indicators because that indicator definitely has more than one so to change your settings you simply click on the settings button here and you scroll down now the only thing that you really have to change in here is the hours like my charts are different like a lot of people's a range will start right on on this line at the end of the day line well my a range actually starts at 1700 which is a few bars back behind that line and my 1 a.m is you know what i'm saying it, it goes to there so that's my a range so i had to go in here and i had to figure out where his settings were and adjust it to my time frame i mean you got to do some math people i know it sucks but it has to be done to make this work and then my kill zone you know kill zone is 6 a.m to 10 a.m but you go 6 to 7 you skip 8 and then you go 9 to 10 so you know between 6 and 7 you got profitable setups and then between um 9 and 9 and 10 you have profitable setups so that's the way you're supposed to look at um your kill zone so you come in the kill zone one and for me i use um 
forex.com and because I use forex.com that's this is how I set mine up based on forex.com so you know write down these numbers and if your charts are based off of forex.com then this is what you would want to set yours up like and you know that that's how your charts would be if it's not forex.com you can use these numbers to kind of pinpoint off of it or you know you can just do the math and you know figure it out because that's what has to be done also what you can do is you can click here and you can say save as default once you have all your settings in place you can save as default and that way if anything happens to where your screen gets messed up you click on return to settings and boom you know what I'm saying it, it automatically appears back for you um, also you do not want to you can go in the style like for in style I simply made all of my EMAs darker because I want to see them um, I changed my charts I mean my shapes from these I don't know what you want to medallion symbol I guess to triangles because I like the triangles oh I, I didn't even tell you guys that so your shift candles to see the shift candle look let me show y'all this this is awesome this indicator is awesome look shift candle there goes your shift there goes your entry there goes your shift there goes your entry that would have been a horrible entry but you know what I'm saying hey three candles or less <laughs> well right, yeah, with sauce don't don't listen to that M's <laughs> right so you know what I'm saying there goes your shift there goes your entry um, so yeah, so getting back to settings because I don't want to forget nothing. So I changed mine to, um, to triangle so that way you can see where the shift is. Um, that is the um, do not change your kill zone colors. He said that if you change the kill zone colors, it throws off the algorithm some type of way, and then you basically have to redo everything. You know what I'm saying? You would have to reset it back up. So to avoid that just don't change the colors and you set it up and look you got some nice pretty charts that give you everything you need to know at the beginning of your day to be profitable so I hope this helps you out greatly because I know it's gonna help me out I was doing all this before like now it's just like oh man I ain't got to do all that extra stuff now I can wake up but that's I could wake up five minutes later now <laughs> I can wake up about 15 minutes later for real. It'll take me about 15 minutes to go through these pairs real quick just to see what setups look good. But, you know, hey, I appreciate it. So I hope this helps you out for real, for real. And uh, peace, love, and nappy here. It's your boy Hawk. I'm out of here. Peace.